The first versions of TDMX receivers had solder pads on them, so you could pretty much take any servo cable that was the length that you needed for your model and solder it onto the solder pads. Um, but the newer TDMXs come with a connector on them with some fairly short leads from the factory. And we've had several people ask whether we have longer leads for these. We do have some, but they have a non-standard connector on the end of them. So you would have to cut this connector off and recrimp on some new servo connectors to plug into your model. You could as well just cut the, the leads off of the end of here and solder them together with here and heat shrink each individual wire to extend the leads. But really the easiest way to extend these servo leads is to use a standard servo extension with one male and one female end. And you get your three connectors here, your ground, power, and signal. In this case, I'm using S-Bus, but you could use a smart port as well if you're using an F-Bus capable uh, system and you get your servo extension and then just plug them into the end here. Now that can be a little bit fidgety to get all three of the connectors lined up in here. So one thing you can do is with the help of a small hobby blade like this one, you can de-pin these connectors by lifting up the small tab that holds the, the connector in and removing the connectors just like that. So I'll do the same thing with these other two leads. Lift up the connector or the, the latch and slide off the connector. And the last one, lift up the, the latch and slide off the connector. Now with the regular uh, connector ends exposed, you can get your three pin servo connect, standard servo connector and just slide it over the top. What you want to make sure is that you keep them the same way so that the latch can hold these connectors in. And generally uh, that is with these crimp side facing up. So you can see the little crimps there and then these slide into the new connector housing. And then I generally like to just make sure to press those latches down to make sure that they get seated in there correctly. And now with your three pin connector, you can just plug that into your servo connector, just like any normal servo extension. If you're worried about the two connectors becoming separated, you can put some hot glue here to keep them together, or you can use a piece of heat shrink and heat shrink the two connectors together. They also make these little servo connectors like this that basically slide over the two leads and click down. And then now that's going to help keep your cables from disconnecting from each other.